Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding fixed product name format and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. Ok, let's jump right in. We are given a table called sales with three different columns, sale ID, product name and sale date. Sale ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the product name and the date it was sold. Since table sales was filled manually in the year 2000, product name may contain leading and or trailing white spaces. Also, they are case insensitive. We are asked to write a SQL query to report three things. Product name in lower case without leading or trailing white spaces. Sale date in the format year and month. Total the number of times the product was sold in this month. The table should be ordered by product name in ascending order and in case of a tie by sale date in ascending order. Let's go through this example. So here we have six different sale ID with different product names and sale date. So here if you see LC phone, LC phone, LC phone. So basically this is the same thing but written in different ways like some of the characters are uppercase and lowercase and there are trailing white spaces right so what we need to do is we need to remove all such trailing or leading white spaces and make the product name lowercase and then for each of the year month we need to count how many times it was sold right for example lc phone in 2000 and month 02 it was sold once LC phone in 2000 and month one that is January of 20, 2000 it was sold twice similarly LC keychain in February of 2000 sold twice and this one in March of 2000 sold once and that is what the answer is right so what we need to do is first thing we need to remove all these trailing as well as the leading white spaces right so let's start building this query so from this table called sales what we need to do is we need to remove the white spaces right so if i write group by but like if if you you know if these uh, if you think about it if this question is so simple that if had it the product name been in correct formats all you had to do was group by the product name and the sale date in a certain format and then count the sale id but since here before grouping by you need to you know make adjustments to this column so we can you know do that in the group by as well right so group by but what is the first thing that we need to do we need to remove the trailing as well as the leading white spaces so what is the function that we use to do that trim so trim then the syntax of trim is either you write trailing or you write leading or you write both if you don't write anything by default it takes both then what do you want to remove right so by default it removes white spaces but you can remove any character right and then you write from and then the column that you want this characters to be removed from right so in our case we need to remove white spaces from both trailing as well as the leading part right so we write both what do we need to remove we need to remove the white spaces now this is optional because as i said by default it takes both by default it removes white spaces but i'm just you know to show what the syntax looks like and generalize this i am writing this so we write both white spaces then we write from and from which column product name right so product name so now after doing this all these white spaces have been removed remember we need to return the product name in lower case so what we do is i write after you remove all those white spaces you convert it into lower case right so i write lower then the second thing should be sale date but sale date also has dates as well as month and year right but we want only year and month so what we do is we need to change the format of dates so what function do we use we use date format so date format 
which column we want to change the format from so sale date and what is the format so we write percentage capital y for year then dash percentage small m for month right so you group by this and then what you do you just return it right so return because you need to return the product name and sale date in the output so you return this you can copy this paste it here but since here the alias is different so we alias accordingly so here this column is called product name in the output and this column is called this column is called sale date so we alias it as sale date and then what do we need to return we need to return the total that is the count of sale id and we need to alias this as total right now we had to order by product name in ascending order and in case of a tie by sale date as well so what we write is order by product name and sale date okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how you do it. Again, very simple question. The only thing to know here was how do we remove trailing as well as the leading characters from any column? So we use trim and then using that, how do we convert a string into lowercase? So we use lower function and then we just had to you know combine these and what is the syntax of trim? And how do we change the formats of a date right to whatever liking we have and then we just use group by and return those columns alias it as whatever was required in the output and ordered by as the question asked. So I hope this video was useful. Let me know if this video was useful or if you have any better or more efficient way of doing this in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.